I just want to start by asking you guys about the shirts you guys got to design, what the experience was like to make those, and what kind of reaction you got from uh, wearing them. Um, yeah, I actually, I said it over to him. I thought they were really cool. Um, you know, I think we had a small part in that. I think there are a lot of people that do a lot of work behind the scenes on that, but um, all in all, we, we were very happy with how they turned out. Yeah, I would agree. I think the messages and the words that we put on the shirts meant a lot. Um, and yeah, they turned out pretty cool. Um, AJ Boo, Boo is playing his first game in a month. Um, Collins was describing how it's hard for a player who hasn't played in a while to get back. Um, what are the challenges of playing your first game in a while? Uh, you just got to get back into the rhythm. You know, he was sidelined um, with the injury. Um, you know, just came back to practice. So just getting that rhythm, I think he'll be fine. What did you see from him today? Uh, you know, he still has his confidence. He's aggressive. Uh, he's going to be who he is. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. What's the mood message in the locker room post game um, after kind of a lot of uh, consecutive defeats and ones where you guys are not necessarily getting outplayed? It's just kind of um, slipping away down the stretch. Um, I mean, honestly, it, it sucks. You know, we're we're in these games. Um, you know, obviously we want to win them, but no one's going to back down. We're not going to quit. Uh, that's not what Northwestern's about. We're going to keep fighting. Um, so I I say that's that's the mood. Uh, Coach talked about the fact that there was a sequence uh, where I, I think you came down with the reverse and, and, and it rolled off the rim. They got yeah. the foul. And how how much of, you know, it seemed like you almost had momentum going again at, when you got the lead back. And, and how tough was it when they sort of took it away again? Yeah, I think we, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot a few times, too, and gave that momentum right back. A um, couple uh, timely turnovers and you know, a couple bad shots here and there, and, and they turn into threes on the other end. Those kind of, you know, those are the things that separate the, the wins and losses. And so um, we got to find a way to tighten up those runs in the second half. We we seem to give up one of those a game where we, we give up a 7-0, 9-0 run. And, um, you know, we got to be able to eliminate that and, and, and eliminate some of those turnovers and bad shots. And, um, you know, we haven't been able to do it so far, but we got to find a way to do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit more more fuel to the fire being from there, and um, yeah, no, it definitely meant a little bit more. But um, yeah, that's that's in the rearview mirror now, and we got to move on. So, Pat, you, you guys were down four. Um, and Nance blocked the shot. You got the ball. Drive. Uh, you described that play. You missed the layup. Then there was a follow on you guys uh, for over the back. Yeah, I think that's what we just talked about. Um, it was just a momentum swing that we have to avoid. You know, I think we, like I said, we kind of give up one of those a game, it feels like, in the second half where we um, allow a team to go on a 7-0, 9-0 run. And, um, you know, those, those are daggers when they come down um, and, and give you a five-point swing. You know, a layup could have been two for us and a three for them. So um, we have to eliminate those. Chris, going to that play, that sequence is, is the key to the game. Yeah, I mean, it was a timely timely possession for sure. Um, at that point, we were right in it. You know, I, I don't know if that's the, uh, the game changer, but yeah, it definitely, it definitely separated uh, the momentum for us. Uh, you guys were hitting a lot of shots in the first half. What do you think worked well for you guys offensively in the first, and how did that change in the second? Uh, I think we were getting downhill a lot, uh, you know, going inside out. Um, and, and guys were just knocking down shots. We were making the extra pass, making the extra play, and guys were just knocking down the shots. Good ball movement. Um, you guys opened up a big lead against a ranked opponent. What is the message from uh, Coach Collins after you guys just to like stave off complacency? Uh, both during that run and then just going into halftime. Yeah, I think we a lot of times we'll break it down into four minute segments, and um, you know we want to win the next four, and so win or loss, you know you're happy with the the four when you win, but when you lose, you realize you got to strap it up and and win the next four, and so um, obviously we won a few of the the first four minute segments, and uh, you know, obviously very happy with those, but you got to put those in the rearview mirror as well, and and really lock down. Um, clearly, we didn't do that in the second half. 
<laughs> I, I don't know, back home, have you played at all, even pick up games with um, Sticks in Baltimore or anything like that? No, yeah, he, um, so I didn't get a chance to play them. I would have played them in high school. Uh, it, got, it got snowed out. And then uh, actually my brother ended up playing them. So my brother was four years younger than me. So he ended up playing against Sticks and those guys.